we're going to be trying Retriever. If you never use Retriever AI, this basically allows you to automate your browser. So we're going to click on Add to Chrome for Retriever AI. And if you never use Retriever, basically what it does is it allows you to like scrape, automate, and monitor the web. So it's an AI agent that can just go off, work its magic, and we should be able to automate a lot of stuff with this simple automation. So what you can actually do is, even if you don't want to install the browser, I think you can use it directly on here. So let's just test this out. We're going to try scraping something. So I'm going to say, okay, get the pricing of the AI profit border, something like that. And we'll see if this works. So we'll click on launch AI, hit send, sign in, enable workflows. So I think this allows it to access spreadsheets and stuff like that. Let's see if it can scrape LinkedIn. So we're going to put in my profile here, plug that in, see my LinkedIn profile URL and say, scrape this URL. We'll hit send, enable workflows, go to me at juliangoldie.com, allow it to go to Google Drive and get it to work its magic. And now you can see this is a free extension up to certain limits, I think. And what it's doing now is navigating to my LinkedIn profile and it should be able to scrape that information. So it's planned out here, then it's processing it, processing the request. It's got the URL down here. Maybe we need to use something where it's not signed in. So I'm going to see if it works here. You can add your own proxies as well. So we'll hit send and we can check out the extension too. So this is the Chrome extension, just going to sign in. Now you can see it's scraping the web page and pulling in the pricing data. Boom. There we go. Let's see if it actually got the price right. And then you actually get a certain amount of credits and here's the remaining amount of credits we have left. And then it's pulled in the pricing right there. All right, let's try something else now. I'm going to say, okay, find Julian Goldie, the SEO on LinkedIn, plus scrape all his information from the profile, then write an email average message that I'll use later to contact him, selling white label SEO. And we'll enhance the prompt and see what it does. So it's actually improved the prompt quite dramatically right there. As you can see, so here's the instructions, here's what to do. So I definitely recommend clicking the enhanced prompt option. The UI of Retrieve AI as well, since last time I've used it, it's a lot nicer now than it was before. And then we'll click enter and let's see if it can work its magic. All right, so it's navigated to LinkedIn, as you can see, and it searched Julian Gordy SEO in the title. So make sure that you give it the right information. Now it's scraping LinkedIn, as you can see, so it's navigating to the profile, getting all the information there, analyzing the page, extracting the data, etc. And there we go. We've got the full outputs here. So if we pull this up, you can see now what it's done. It's got the outputs, right? So step one was scraping and navigating to the LinkedIn profile. Then it's got the outputs. So it got all the information that was scraped from the page. And then from there, what I actually did is write the email, right? So it's subject, his email. It's taken all the information from my profile, offered a CTA, and then you can make sure that it's customized to you and your business and everything. But that was pretty easy to do, to be fair. Not bad at all. I think we can keep going from there as well. So we could actually say, put that into a Google Sheet or send it from Gmail, et cetera. Let's see if it can actually send the email as well. So I'm going to say, okay, now send this from me at juliangoldie.com to juliangoldie at gmail.com. Navigate to here, then send this email from, and we'll say, send the details than the man at seomagic.com, something like that. We'll enter, we'll see if it can do that. So it's navigated to that inbox that I gave it the link for. It's opening up a new email to write here. It's put in the two email address, and this is really quick to use, quite quick and easy. I like the fact as well, like I didn't have to plug in a custom API key to use this as well. And then it sent the message. So you can see it says, hi Julian, blah. It didn't customize it to us on our company name, which is annoying, but it did everything else. But pretty nice workflow right there. All right, so what I've actually done is inside the AI Success Lab, I've actually generated all the links for using this. So you can get the links to the Chrome extension, the website, the cloud dashboard, et cetera. And then what I've actually done is created a custom framework on how to turn your browser into a self-driving lead machine. All right. So if you're wondering, okay, like what is Retriever AI? How does it work, et cetera? So it's an AI browser agent, lives inside Chrome as an extension. You tell it what to do. It does it for you. Clicks things, scroll pages, extract data, fill forms, right? You can also navigate websites. And this does it in the background whilst you're working on something else. So it's like having a virtual assistant that lives inside the browser. And you can bring your own Gemini API key as well, and then automate stuff for free. Most browser automation tools are expensive, complicated, easy to detect, and cloud-based. Retriever AI is different because it operates within your browser. It can, it's undetectable to anti-bot systems. You can use Gemini models and it's running locally on Chrome. So it's pretty fast and private. Let's try something else now. We're going to say extract testimonials and auto format for social proof. So let's try this out. We're going to plug in that prompt over here. We're going to go to juliangoldie.com and extract testimonials. See if this works. There we go. So it's navigate to juliangoldie.com, scrolling down the page, grabbing all the testimonials, as you can see, 
and then it's actually put those into a nice little spreadsheet here. This is pretty cool. Uh, so you can see here, for example, it's taken the source website, right? So juliangordy.com, the client names, the name of the people who have given testimonials. It's put it into a Google doc on my drive. And then also it's got the testimonial quotes. So like, Julian is very skilled, Julian went to work, blah, blah, blah. These are all actual quotes from my website. Let's just check these are correct. So if we go to juliangordy.com and check this out, there we go. So it is scraping the correct testimonials from the page, and then it's extracted them into a nice little spreadsheet right there. So it's pretty good at automating tasks, doing it in minutes, doing it in the background, and then you give it a simple prompt and it goes off, creates a new sheet with all the details. So, so far, pretty good, right? It's already scraped LinkedIn, created an email, sent an email, scraped testimonials from our website. Let's see what else we can do here. So I actually got a 30 day plan here as well on how to use this. But what I want to do here is just take some of the custom prompts from the 100 prompt section and see what we can do. So let's say, for example, scrape this competitor's blog for all articles, titles, and publication dates. Let's see if it can do that. So I'm going to take that and we're going to give it the URL via goldieagency.com. Logan says, could it use AI to create something like, for example, a Gemini 3 photo? Let's try it out in a sec. We'll see if it works. So it has navigated to the blog now on goldieagency.com. It's extracting the information, opening up a new tab. And then the publication dates are actually not on the blog. So that's why it's done that. But it's scraped the titles of each of the blogs from the blog post on the website. So it did that perfectly as well. Pretty nice. So for data extraction, generating leads, I think it'd be really good for. It's also pacing in more and more. So you can see so it's actually taking more and more blogs from the page and then set them all up here. Pretty amazing. I'm actually going to, I think you can cancel this as well. So we're going to cancel that in a minute just to stop running that task but you can see how easy that was right it can create new google sheets it, it works with your google drive directly which is pretty nice and then it actually has a link to the spreadsheet that is created down here as well for reference there seems to be no limit to what you can do we've so far we navigated to linkedin scraped my linkedin profile created a custom email based on that linkedin profile sent the email then we went to juliangolder.com, extracted all the testimonials from the website. It did that perfectly, put it on a Google Sheet. And then finally, we scraped this competitor's blogs for article titles and publication dates. So now let's try this out. We're going to say, okay, go to Gemini, what is it? Gemini.google.com, create an image of a cat eating a banana. We'll hit enter, see what that does. I've actually, I've tested out many computer use agents like Nana Browser, for example. Also, I've used stuff like Word, Chrome Browser Agent as well. But this is right up there. This is really good. And the difference here is it's free as well. And it's just a simple Chrome extension that you can install. The problem with Claude, for example, is like you have to sign up to the pro version to use it. This is a lot easier. So now it should be generating an image. Let's see if it does it. Defining the scene, I know it's in the details, blah, blah. And there we go. We've got a cat eating a banana. All right. So Logan, could it use AI to create something like, for example, a Gemini 3 photo? Absolutely. As you've seen, it's just gone off and done its magic right there. It's pretty cool. It's also got a bunch of tools active, right? So you can see all the tools that it can do. So for example, it can actually send like Slack messages. It can create a pop-up alert. It can check all your browser tabs, get page data, execute JavaScript. It can plan, act on the tab, extract from the tab, and then crawl and extract as well. In terms of how you use it, it's pretty much limitless. It seems to work really well here. So let's go back to this. What you're seeing is how to set this up in under five minutes, how to automate repetitive browser tasks, how to scrape data straight into Google Sheets. I think you can also teach it workflows that actually repeats automatically as well. So if we go back to Retriever here, let's see if we can do that. You can actually teach it a trick here. So if you do a certain task and you do it regularly, you can actually hit record and then go off and create it. So for example, like that, you can say, okay, do this. And then it will just automatically do that each time as well, which is pretty nice as well. I'm interested. I want to test this to its limit, right? So what I'm actually going to do is see if it can, if I can teach it a trick and then it will just repeat the workflow. All right. So for example, if I'm like, okay, I want to create a new set of notes inside the AI success lab. Can it do it for me? All right. So we're going to click on record here, teach a trick. I'm going to call this new school module. So click on the plus. Now it's recording. So we're going to go over to here. Then we're going to go to classroom, click on the classroom, add a new page, call this new AI agent is insane. And then we'll put the funnel links at the top, something like that. Hit save and then stop the recording. And it's, for example, been taught the trick now, right? So if we use that, so can it create a new module for us? Let's see. So it's navigating to school, as you can see. Then it's going to the classroom. This is a trick we just taught it. So it's taken the screen recording and the tasks that we'd normally do. It failed with that task. All right. So it does have limit. That's good to know. But 
for everything else, it seems to work. I don't really like the tricks option. I don't think that worked very well, to be honest with you. But it's good for you to see the limitations as well, because then you can see what works and what doesn't, etc. So the recording didn't work at all. And it got a bit confused and thought the task was complete when it wasn't. Now, what I've actually done is inside the AI Success Lab, I've included all the resources from today with the links. The browser domination frameworks, how to turn your browser into a self-driving lead machine in 30 days that shows you exactly how to do this step-by-step -step based on some of the stuff that we've talked about today. And then also I've run through some of the limiting beliefs that might just be holding you back. Some of the limiting beliefs that you want to have to win with this stuff. For example, some people will say automation is complicated to set up. Honestly, like with this one, you just install the Chrome extension and it's good to go. All right. Some people say as well, you can, I can only do one automation at a time. Actually inside the chat here, you could give it multiple automations to work on, and then it can work on multiple automations in the background as well. Other people say AI can only answer questions, not take real actions. But as you've seen today, AI can now control your browser and actually do real work, right? Scraping LinkedIn, generate leads, finding testimonials, scraping blog posts, finding titles, creating spreadsheets. It can do all of that and it can do it faster than most humans, to be honest. So this is the shift that most people haven't caught yet. Chat GPT, for example, is great for answering questions, but you can't really do anything in the real world. They did have their own agent that launched. Honestly, I didn't like it that much. Retriever changes that. So you can give any AI chat browser superpowers via this MCP. You just use the retriever and you're good to go on this. So for example, if you say to retriever, okay, go off and find 50 leads from SEO agency, you actually go off and do it. People say I need to babysit my automations. Basically what you can do is set it once and then run it forever. And I think you can actually schedule stuff as well with Retriever. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty powerful way to use it. For example, let's have a look at the old way versus the new way. The old way would be, for example, like for finding leads, you would manually search LinkedIn before and copy and paste to a spreadsheet. And that would take like two hours to do, right? Whereas the new way is Retriever AI can scrape a hundred leads whilst you go off and do something else. For competitor research, before you'd be checking competitor websites manually, and that's easy to forget or miss important changes. Now you can automate it with 24 seven monitoring and also get like slap alerts when anything changes as well. On top of that, for example, form filling, the old way was filling out the same form 50 times, pretty boring, can create a lot of errors along the way. Whereas now you can actually record this as a trick and run it on loads of websites automatically. So that's basically how it works today. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to get the 30 day roadmap for using this stuff, if you want to get 100 prompts for testing with Retriever AI and all the links to everything that I've covered today, it's all inside the AI success lab. So feel free to get that link in the comments description. If you go to the AI success lab here, as you can see, it's a community that connects you with 42,000. 700 members and if you go to the classroom you'll find the new automations that i've covered today right here inside the retriever section as you can see plus i've added an extra video tutorial that breaks it down in a more concise way so thanks so much for watching appreciate it and if you haven't already check out the ai profit boardroom inside there is an amazing community of 1900 ai builders we have a daily accountability group where you can post your goals, check in, hold yourself accountable, and everyone's really active on that. On top of that, you can post your questions inside the community, get unlimited help and support whenever you're struggling, and you can share your wins and your goals along the way. On top of that, I also do weekly updates where I break down 80 hours of my work into a concise five-minute update that shows you what to do and what to ignore this week based on the latest AI update. So if you ever feel like AI is overwhelming, if you struggle to focus, if you struggle with shiny object syndrome, et cetera, then you can check out the weekly updates that I post every week inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This also comes with weekly coaching calls. You can jump on four coaching calls per week, get unlimited tech support, jump on the calls, ask any questions that you have. And then inside the classroom here too, you'll see, for example, we have a six week roadmap for going from complete beginner to expert with AI. You'll find all of my best playbooks on automating social media. If you follow me on any channel that we use a lot of automation. And then also you'll find my best NA10 templates, full course on how to get agency clients, coaching call recordings in case you couldn't make them so you can watch them back. And then we also have the AI SEO automation and the YouTube AI roadmap based on what's working for me as well. So feel free to get that. Appreciate it. Logan says, cool stuff. Going to try a retriever. Virtual coach says, can vouch for the AI profit border. Amazing stuff. Thank you very much. And then smart ideas says, great stuff. Thank you. So thanks everyone for watching. Appreciate it as always. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.